was an alpha. <laughs> So. All right, and it looks like, all right, we're on to game three. We have our poison mm -hmm. tokens. It's nice that uh, the coverage of all events has really uh, embraced the use of cards, such as the energy counter card mm -hmm. and now the uh, poison counter card. They, they did have them in the uh, booster packs from Scar's Block, so these ones a little fancier. I mean, you still got to, you know... A lot of people say sometimes, oh, fetch land, you don't need to mark you went down the 19. I mean, I've seen sometimes Infect just win. They get their Noble Hierarch to the point where they're just smashing face and pumping it through the roof. Yeah, sometimes even uh, through an Amrakul. I've not seen that. That's that certainly <laughs> happened before, I believe, on uh, uh, other coverage. Uh, sometimes uh, sometimes Noble Hierarch <laughs> is the most powerful uh, creature in the room and can just oh. take out an Amrakul in combat. A, a Ban Noble Hierarch, 2 OP. <laughs> Tropical Islands from each player uh, Especially game three They know what they're up against They're really trying to figure out how they want to navigate This uh, this matchup And uh, make sure to get through The opponent's disruption It looks like we have a Blossoming Defense over here Do we have a Blossoming Defense? Do we have a Pendlehaven? And we have our first Infect Creature down on the board Now Sean has a Singleton Spell Snare mm -hmm. In his deck, I don't know if he has it in his hand right now, but that'd be an interesting way of snagging the uh, the bladed agent here. So there is a uh, is an interesting choice of uh, okay brainstorm. Brainstorm. Right. Um, I'm look kind of looking through uh, Sean's sideboard here. Uh, there's some. He also has a, uh, a blo one blossoming defense of his own okay. on the sideboard. I don't think I see any uh, in the main deck. Or I do see one. Uh, no, I do not see one in the main deck. Uh, so I'm curious as to what's come in if uh, these players are looking to... How, how the players are looking to make this an interactive match. And so we got the It looks like he's gonna be threatening here at least with uh the first infect creature down on the board. And that's kind of always the the thing I found with infect decks is it's it's great when you draw your creatures and it doesn't feel so good when you're not hitting your infect creatures. Exactly. It's uh yeah, it has a. If you ever play uh, Modern Boggles, uh, it kind of has a feel like that sometimes, where you're really just you you have to draw the uh, correct mix of each side of your deck. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three sides basically. You have the uh, the creature suite, you have the uh, pump spells, and you have the disruption to make sure your opponent can't mess up the first two. And the agent looking like it's going to go in. Yeah. I think he's maybe just determining if he's just going to just, just go all in here. And I can't see many of his options other than the blossoming defense. So he at least has two damage here. But he might choose to go up to four. Maybe more. And he's looking like, yeah. And we're just going to have the two. We're going to go with the slow burn here. Two for you. Not get too crazy yet. And then an Ink Moth and a Wasteland over there. Yeah, Sean kind of looking mm -hmm. at his options. Play a, an Infect Threat of his own with the Ink Moth or, or Wasteland mm -hmm. can just have the clock. Of, Is that a probe a in his hand too? It looks like a taxi and probe. Absolutely. Gets to kind of yep see what's going on over on mm -hmm. the other side. Everybody gets to see what he's working with. Blossoming defense. Yeah. So, yes, please please let us know yes. what's in there. Please let us see. So, I see Blossoming defense as the second card in the Berserk on top. Uh, one of the uh, fetch land. I think that's two fetch lands at the back. Uh, the middle one, I think, might be a second <laughs> Blossoming defense. Yeah, it looks like double Blossoming defense. So, that's a. 
a mm. lot of valuable information. Yep. So if he chose to go for it, or cho chooses to go for it, he could theoretically kill Sean. Absolutely. Bladed and agent. Bladed Agent. Bladed Agent Showdown. With the information that he was given, I yeah. did, do find it interesting that he decided to... Uh, well, here we go. We're going to find out now what Sean has. <laughs> it's the perfect information for everyone. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Spread it out. Yeah, please let us know. <laughs> oh, Vines of Asswood. Vines of Asswood. Okay. Force of Will, Fluster Storm. Is that another Bladed Agent? Is that two more Bladed mm -hmm. Agents? Yeah, that's... Uh, Wasteland. Yeah, that's a that's so one an one yeah one player essentially has all the pump spells. The other player essentially has all the counter spells. Yeah. So <laughs> now the players yeah. are working with information, perfect information on both sides. It's gonna be yeah. interesting how this cat and mouse game of uh, mm. who moves first and oh man, this is uh, this is gonna play out mm. play out interestingly. Sean essentially has two counter spells up with the Force Blue card and the Fluster Storm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how the count and mouse game, so to speak, plays out. Infect should win here. Now that we have all this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for that. Now that we have all this uh, information, do you mm -hmm. think? Uh, do you think he uh, uses any of these pump spells here? I mean. I mean, it's not like he has a way to get rid of them, right? So you just got to kind of jam into the counter spells. What's the... Is that a daze that he picked up? It, it kind of looks like it. Uh, I believe the deck does run uh, four in this mm -hmm. case of his build. So I could see bring, mm -hmm. keeping all of them in as a way of uh, playing that almost Delver-style yeah. uh, game plan. Being a disruptive mm -hmm. aggro deck. Yeah, I think given what you know, I, you almost just jam in the spells here. Yeah, it's like uh, absolutely mm -hmm. use the Pendle Haven and throw yep. down one of those uh, one of those pump spells. Mm -hmm. Probably not Berserk, but I could see one of the Blossoming awesome Defenses kind of coming into play here. And here's a blossoming defense. So like you can, you'll have to force the will this if you want to yep. kill him. But it's about all he can do. Anything else will run into the fluster storm. So up to four now for the bladed agent. And I'm sure he's just kind of maybe doing the math in his head to see. All right, if I just keep the slow burn, am I still going to be ahead in the race? Mm -hmm. Given I know my, I know Sean's hand, I know the counter spells in it. Wow, he's going for the berserk. Yeah, this is definitely going to should prompt a response from Sean here. Yeah. And force getting rid of the other bladed agent. It's interesting because uh, the berserk is a. Uh, it's it's a obviously it's ju it's just gonna kill him here if he doesn't do anything about it. But uh, you know we're not gonna we're definitely not gonna see that resolve. We're just gonna see. Uh, so he's debating if he wants to daze and make him pay the extra mana to counter that. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good pickup there. So how do you wanna how do you wanna pay for this? Probably with mana, not with fluster storm. Mm -hmm. And now this actually sets up a, a very good situation. Sean's in a bind here because now if he fires off the Fluster Storm here, um, he can then play the second Blossoming Defense on it, and then he essentially kills Sean next turn with the Pendle Haven, unless Sean is able to pick up another one. 
Okay, so he is electing to go with the, the mm -hmm. Fluster Storm over paying for the days. But it looks like Sean is still... Yeah, and that's all he wants oh, to wait, do. Oh, wait, no, because Sean Sean's going to have to wasteland that Pendle Haven so he doesn't die. Yes, he is. Yeah, it's a two-turn clock if he doesn't do that, so it's well worth it. He And he has uh, Vines of Asswood actually to kind of protect... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, the yeah. Sometimes you, sometimes you just gotta use it that way. Ooh, Judge Promo Noble Hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that mm -hmm. adds to the clock. Now, granted, um, we have a four-turn clock on the right, but uh, it's it uh, it one more pump spell could really just put you on ahead. Yeah. It'll it'll see we'll see mm -hmm. what happens because uh, both these players have to yeah. navigate this carefully. There's no mm -hmm. neither one of them is in a commanding lead. Yeah. It's definitely gonna be close here. I'm not sure either player actually. Ooh. That's a good draw there. Oh wow! Like, how do you and, the and there's the vines coming in on defense, and that's game. The blossoming. Yeah, good job there. That there was it is, uh, yeah. That's the pump spell mm -hmm. he needed to seal that up right now. Mm -hmm. And we see uh, we see infect win. Infect, as I predicted, one. 